Uh, can we call this meeting to order at 1805 of the South County EMS on January the 16th of 2020? Hi, everybody. Zachary? Yeah, I think I sent out the last minutes a while ago when I also sent out apparently every single... You did. Yeah, and then everybody <coughs> that said... <coughs> I sent out all the postings for like the whole year and then all the clerks were like, ah, and I was like, sorry, I didn't realize. Okay, just, just, we'll yeah, take, yeah, not happy with take you. backsies, just do the first one. I promise to, they all hyperventilate. So I sent out the minutes then, so, uh. I'll entertain a motion for uh, minutes of, what was that, November? November something. 19. Uh, motion. November 21st. Yeah. Second. Second. Great. Discussion? Even though I wasn't here. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, thanks guys. We have the Zach report. The Zach report. South County. Sounds like a really bad cable TV program. All right. So the numbers are out from 2019, calendar year 2019, our responses. Um, overall numbers were down. That's because of precipitous drop in our mutual aid responses. Um, but our responses to our primary service area were up a um, little over 4%. So call volume's increasing because it's increasing everywhere. The primary service area where, we're, where we are responsible for is increasing, but you'll notice that we're not going to Greenfield nearly as much or Turner's Falls. Uh, this, at, I, I, I mentioned it in my report, I don't think this is like a sign that we're out of the woods on this and everything is squared away up, up north. Mm -hmm. um, everybody is seeing this as like, a, it's just kind of reassures, reaffirms the fact that it's unpredictable, right. that we can't count on it either being very busy and us always going mutual aid or it not being busy at all. <clears throat> um, AMR certainly has made some strides up there. They have the... <clears throat> backbone of the Springfield division that they can move resources around. Uh, but uh, even just the other day, I, between us, Greenfield, Fire, Turners, we were doing calls all day long up there and I had to call up AMR to just find out even if they were open that day because it was it was bad, so. Um, is, it, is it true that you can't really find the ambulances when there's so many out there? What do you mean? You know, I mean, that who is tracking the ambulances when you have... You mean on like a GPS? No, well, like when you have multiple calls, you dispatch. no one, dispatch isn't able to, or isn't aware of where the ambulances, how many ambulances are out and where they're going. Yeah. Not I, the, well, so like AMR and those large <clears throat> private companies that don't have a base of operations, they save money by making the crews sleep in the ambulances in like a Burger King parking lot. Yeah. They have GPS. So their dispatch center can see that unit 419 is nearest to this call and we're gonna send them because they are constantly just moving. None of our, like South County EMS, we, we're not tied into shelter control. They don't know our exact location, but they know that we're either in quarters at, at the hospital, you know, at the call. So they have a general idea to that. So sometimes, there'll be a mutual aid call in Greenfield and they can see that Northfield ambulance is sitting at the hospital and they just cleared or, or they're available. So they'll reach out to Northfield first because they're in the neighborhood okay. then toning out another department. What I was concerned about is when you have multiple stuff happening, it didn't, you know, it wasn't clear to me that there was a way to disperse these ambulances. Um, and I was wondering how we could fix that. Yeah, I think... Or how we can improve the situation. I, the problem is, I think that's some, like, high-level stuff compared to where we are. I mean, where we are now is just, somebody calls 911 for an ambulance in Greenfield, AMR says we don't have anybody. So then they call up to Shelburne Control, and Shelburne Control looks at their list and says, okay, first person on the list into Greenfield for that district is Colerain. So we're going to tone out Colerain because we know that... They're currently not on the call. Well, the reason why this came up is because I heard that there's going to be a mass casualty, um, finally, um, some kind of exercise to test that plan. We've had a plan. Franklin County's had a plan. Yep. But the rest of the area, um, Western Mass hasn't. So finally, they are ready to go. And then I heard that there was not a way to track our ambulances or 
no one, I mean, there was not the <coughs> ability to make a decision that some of these ambulances from Hampshire County should come up. And I was like, well, well wait a second. Well, how, how do we fix this? That's, how do we yeah. make this more efficient? In, the, in an MCI, we have ambulance task force that pre-identify specific services and ambulances to create a team that will respond to an emergency. <coughs> so we know ahead of time that if we pull one ambulance out of Agawam and two out of Springfield and one out of Ludlow, it won't deplete their resources. So that's how we do that. If we were just to send well, all the ambulances that were closest, we would just move the emergency to another place. But it wasn't clear to me that Shelburne Control would know, have any of this information. <clears throat> I mean, it's supposed to come out in the exercise. And I would hope that- the Dave? It would, be pretty, they, I would be yeah. pretty sure they have. Yeah, they have it. So? Just okay. Shelburne Control calls MEMA, requests an ambulance task force. MEMA looks at their list. They notify okay. the yeah. yeah, so All it's. Right. You know, so we'll, just, we'll see how this runs. I yeah. guess. These lists are supposed to be updated like yeah. every year. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think it's dire the way that you. Okay, were, I, I was like. I don't think that's broken. I was you know. a little worried about that so, when I heard that. So Zach, beyond Greenfield and Turner's, which yeah. is obviously a dramatic drop, and they've got their act together. Yeah. Um, Conway has also dropped. Yep. Hatfield doesn't appear in 2019, um, and and other dropped. So what's that? That's not just AMR. What what's the reason? Is is there a a trend line that you can point to? Well, so we would like <clears throat> we go to Conway. That's a 33 percent drop. Yeah, so that's because of AMR. So normally, it is. When, yeah, so what would happen is you've got somebody with chest pain in Conway, Conway ambulance gets toned out, and AMR responds as their paramedic intercept. If Conway can't get a crew together, then AMR just continues and transports primary or something like that. So, so their backup. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's, it's incidents like that. And what about Hatfield and Amherst for that matter? They, they disappear off the column. Um, yeah, I, there's still, uh, I'm sorry, I, 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 I wonder if I can pull it up here. Um, run dead. Emerson was only three and 18. No, I understand that. It's just, it's just interesting that right. and Hatfield was eight. Right. And I'm just wondering what, yeah, one of, I they think, became yeah, up. those others hide some stuff that, so. The other dropped as well. Yeah. So, um, let's see, in 2019. Uh, we went to Amherst three times in November, once in October, and then once each June, May, and April. Oh, so you're just not reporting it on this call. It's, yeah, so the, the yeah, that spreadsheet was just doing that because we were dropping off for some of these other communities and it just wasn't worth maintaining a whole okay. column for. So some of those are hiding in the other. Um, Hatfield, we went to, that one other in December is Hatfield. But and then we went one other time in June. Um, if you go back to 15, in 2015 there were 41 mutual aid calls. There were 60 mutual aid in 16. In 17 there were 93. In 18 there was 173. And then this year it dropped down to 60. Yeah. The good news in it dropping mm -hmm. is the fact that our crews are in our town. Correct. Yeah. Ready to serve. Yeah. That's what I was just thinking. We're answering more of our right, right. Calls. And the good news is, probably with the changeover with AMR coming in and Medicare being gone, like you said, Zach, they've got the resources to probably pull in some more folks. The other thing is, Greenfields has got its own ambulance up there as well. Yep, so they're, they're, uh Greenfields got a basic Turners. level ambulance. Turner's has a basic, and they're adding a second ambulance in Turner's. Okay. Yeah. So they're chasing some of their own calls, yeah. which is yeah. overall, which is good. Um, we lose the <clears throat> revenue because of it. We do. Um, our current staffing model of our one truck 24 seven plus the impact is designed for our primary coverage area though. So right. really those mutual aids were on top oh, of- Oh, it was great, it was total great. Yeah, so, Absolutely. so it's, it's nice to feel that relief and, and you know, not be in Greenfield and having tones drop down here for, for yeah, somebody who is paying into the system. Going to the Hatfield line or the yes. Sunland mm -hmm. Valley line. Or, right. <clears throat> but as you mentioned earlier, it ebbs and flows, depending on what's going on, what incidents yeah. are going on, what staffing is like. I mean, I'm sure, I know the flu is going around, so you're running around with AMR. You know, how many providers did they have that called in sick because they're truly sick, mm -hmm. and they may be 
and I don't know this for a fact, but they may be short-staffed or hard to get enough crews because, never mind, you've got EMT sick, kids are homesick. Right, everyone, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. and they're serving I patients who are already inter compromised. Interesting factor is the weight. You go back to day one and look at how much they've gone up. Greatly. You know, yeah, 202 know. this year. Right. You know, they've gone up a lot. It's interesting, and I don't... Yeah, I, I mean, some of that is just to sit statistical stuff, right? Yeah. So you, you, you don't it. want to read too much into it. I think the other half of it is if you build it, they will come. Right. And we have a reputation now that if you call 911, so we're going to show up and get you that care. Right. So yeah. part of the uh, 30 years I was on, I mean, we never had more than 120 calls. So yeah. That yeah. Was pretty much well, because you'd drive yourself. You'd be like, yeah. uh, do I call and then maybe and then I'm yeah. waiting and they never show up and then or do I just get in my car and go? <laughs> Whereas, yeah. you know, Whereas now. Yeah, and how many times did we hear from people in the past? I call the ambulance by the time I wait a half right. hour, I can be at the hospital. Or an even rather right. calling. I mean, I used as to. As long as I'm capable. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, not too long ago. Or they're still calling Gary on his cell phone saying, Gary, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been four years and I still get phone calls at home. <laughs> Gary Medical Transport, LLC. Yeah. That's what happened. He's referring him over to John Hanna Medical Transport, LLC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. What else you got there, Zach? Outreach. Uh, just yesterday, did my Stop the Bleed training at Deerfield Elementary School. We finally uh, got that to happen. They, they had eight staff members that are part of their internal medical response team. And actually, only a couple of them are their medical staff. The rest are lay people that are trained in first aid CPR. So we did a Stop the Bleed training, um, which is for... Um, that like a national program. Yeah, and it's uh, it's really great, and it really emphasizes, you know, the what gets the money, the grant money, is this active shooter stuff. But really, that's statistically is never going to happen. We're talking about, you know, the person who puts their hand through a window or a, the car accident or something like that. So we did that. We reviewed some equipment, and they actually have their own bleeding control kits there. So we brought that out, and we talked do about how their equipment do this works. To any of the other schools. I, I am available and open to them. I mean, um, it's up to them to contact you. I mean, you yeah, I, this was a scheduling nightmare. We've been trying to do this since the right. the fall, just <clears> you know, <throat> for staff time and stuff. It is. Um, That's what I'm wondering. I mean, do you reach out to the other schools, or do they need right, to? Right. They're where I, I sit in on the the Union 38 <clears throat> school safety committee meetings. All I'm personally friends with all the principals. They know that I'm a resource that they can call upon. So do the kids um, get into it? Uh, they could. Where their eyes glaze over, honestly. Oh, I, I don't, we don't, I haven't trained any kids. In oh, oh I thought this was a... Just the staff. Just yeah. staff. Okay. Just staff. I'm sorry. Um, but it is through <clears throat> South County EMS. That, that's free. I'm a, I'm a trainer that is over on... How about the high school? On my I, mean, time. I would think that the kids would be, it would be beneficial to... Yeah, we've talked about going to the high school in the past, not just for that, but for other medical stuff, and we run up against just their curriculum constraints and their time constraints on that stuff. So. When did you do it in... I mean, what's the timing on these? In, in terms of the teaching day, uh, this was this was a one hour class that I did yesterday, and they only had one hour to spare, and it took from last fall for them to find but that what, one what hour. What time was that one hour? I guess is my question. In service day. Or oh, uh, two day? to three. Two so, who, to three so four. was it teachers and and paraprofessionals, or was it? Yes. Yeah. It was. This was just the people. This was organized by their nurse for the people that were on the medical response team. Oh, I see. So it's not all. No. That's why I was wondering what, what were the kids yeah. doing. To no, yeah. No. And, okay. and we had we had originally planned to do all the teachers on one of their administrative days, and then it was oh well, let's just do the teachers who want it because we don't want to force them. And then it was uh, we're in contract negotiations. We can't make them do it. Uh, we can't ask them to do it. And it and it oh, got pared down to these eight people. But yeah, they've got how many Fridays where they have early release and they've got time in the afternoon and every week that doesn't have a holiday in it. Right. So don't get me started. Service yeah. Don't get me started. Okay. Okay. Let's talk more about the image. Great. Um, so the most recent budget I printed out for you, I think it's dated even today because those are the numbers that came out. I highlighted in green. Is this on a different? Um, Do you have a um, copy of that, Zach? They're all. He's hiding all of them. Oh. I was looking on a page. People are going to think I'm Thank you. looking at an email as opposed to looking at what you You're sent. Instagramming over there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I highlighted in green the Here, changes. Let me it for you. 
The changes since the last draft, you will notice that um, they are all down. That's why they're in green. So I, those preliminary numbers for employee benefits, I got the actual numbers from the town of Deerfield. So those are all down um, significantly. We, we met yesterday yep. and we sorted this out. And then, so those are, those are the employee benefit costs. I've also put in the OPEB number. So the town of Deerfield's current policy is 4% of employee health benefit liabilities or whatever. So 4% of the South County EMS liabilities. Last year's. Last, last year's, year's, yes. Right. Is the, last yeah, year's actual pay. Is $2,023. So that is the number that is placed into here to match what the town of Deerfield's policy is. I, I guess it's for people in the know, this is significantly, 4% is significantly lower than probably what our actual obligations a drop are. In the bucket. Yeah, but but this is representative of the town of Deerfield policy and, and shows our commitment. Um, and then if we flip over at the very bottom, we have the town of Deerfield indirect costs. Uh, Where the, are you here? The green highlighted in the top <clears> right. <throat> oh, I got you. I'm sorry, yeah. Um, so originally, what were we up to? We were at like 75 or something like that. That, that was based on that 10% number, which had originally been agreed on at our inception. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, okay, yeah, but we've got our sea legs now. It can't, 10% doesn't right. seem that. So um, Brenda, the interim acting in, interim town administrator no brenda's the town accountant no uh, brenda right. the town accountant comma and diana oh, diana. Diana, diana and diana. carolyn and everybody they look down these line items so on this sheet here this is the indirect yeah. um calculations went in and piece by piece brenda went through every single thing that's included in that and actually removed a few things that didn't make sense that we were what was removed because that's not broken down here. It is not. Um, the, some of the consulting stuff, I believe, or Carolyn might be able to remember. Well, the contracted services um, is only, um, and everything that it has nothing to do with SCEMS was removed from contracting services. I wonder if I have the And um, the, uh, what we had done before is just whatever our budget was, was a 10% flat. So. Um, the t town clerk has nothing to do with scams. Right. So it's so the clerk was out. Collectors yep. payroll. Um, um, contracted um, services originally had been one hundred and thirty-one thousand. So she pulled out thirty-two thousand of contracted services. And not, yeah, anything that didn't have anything to do with scams. Our building maintenance um, was uh, for the offices. Was only for the offices of. This, you know, town clerk, clerk, select board, and town accountant. Um, our legal fee was is a flat fee, and our general insurance. But, but we talked about the legal expense being eliminated because we should just have our own legal line item. This was the town of Deerfield as a flat fee, instead of a. We have a flat fee. Yeah. So. Your point Which is. includes scams. So if you but we got a separate line item oh, that's that, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh, oh, so yes, uh, we could remove yes. that. There are sometimes we get referred to. We get referred out to other legals. Um, the personnel. Uh, what's the? Um, I mean, personnel issues that the, arise. Yeah. No, but there's like we've been referred out to other. No, but that, actually that makes sense. Should though. that be included as well on those platforms? I mean, I would, and yeah, I, I guess I would drop, drop that. Okay, but I, I want to make sure that I understand. You have a flat fee, so that means that if you pay $5 a year in legal expenses and you incur $25 in legal expenses, you're still only going to pay the $5? Yeah, So you unless, could, it's, unless it's outside of flat fee stuff. Like, I mean, you can have uh, a personnel thing that is goes beyond our scope of our flat fee. So within the flat fee services, what would scams be using? Well, if Zach has has a legal question or about what what I mean again, so so I guess I'm I'm I mean, still some it, some personnel. Some so are we paying 10 we're not paying 10% of 51,000 obviously. 
No, now we're we paying seven point one. Yeah, so that's all oh, fifty one thousand. Right. <clears throat> no. No, I what can't imagine is, that's right. The, what What this is is of the but uh, this is the total budget. Yeah. That applies to sort of scams, and then we're saying it's seven percent. Of what number though? Of, of that. Of the fifty one. Of 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 the total budget here of all these items that relate to anything that scams would be related right. to. See, and I guess I think that we should just pay for our legal bills ourselves. And that if we incur, a, if, if, if Zach has a legal question, then he calls an attorney and the attorney pays, or the attorney bills out two scams. So we're not covered under that flat fee. Well, it's um, also covering in case between our agreement with the town, if there's any kind of questions, I would assume, on the Deerfield well, side about... Yeah, I mean, it's just anything. I, I, I just... I, if, if you bill out, like, it's $200. Like we, had, we were working on the, um, we were working on the um, warrant article for the rental thing. I mean, that we're back and forth on that. Okay, but that was... Three, two years ago now. No, no. Oh, well, this time around. Okay. Well, we're getting ready for town meeting, and, and that, you know, we're talking to council on that. And we're doing research on that. We're having research done because I wanted to make sure it's flexible enough that should we wish... I mean, we don't know. Medical stuff changes all the time. So we might want to expand and or whatever. We need to be have maximum flexibility with that rental account. and. Um, right now, the way it's written, the standard language is just for ma plain ma maintenance. And, I mean, to me, that's not enough. Okay. So, uh, so but I, I, I'm still, I, I admit it, I'm still struggling with this. I, I, set aside legal for a second. Building maintenance on three offices, like physical bricks and mortar offices. You have to heat them. You have to air condition them. You have to clean them. And select board total 10% of 255,000. No, it's seven, seven, seven percent of 250. That's still 20,000. I'm doing bad back of the envelope math. That's still $20,000. What, what does scams do for them? I mean, what does the select board office do? We get yelled at, but, but that's not $20,000. Okay. It's since not listen, $57,950. Or no, what are we saying? You're saying sixty thousand five hundred and six. Okay, that to administer payroll, all the issues is fairly. It's it's not even a person. I, if you well, but but payroll payroll just. I, I I get the insurance. I get some of it, Carolyn. But other stuff, I I don't get. So okay. you're you're saying, but you your your example right there. Would you indicate like that we're underpaying for some line items and overpaying for other line items, and you're and you're just coming out in the wash. We're coming out with a formula. This is a formula that we use for South County. This is a formula that we use for. And, uh, you use it for, and we're going to have the same conversation on the senior center. Then that's fine, John. But but I guess I I'm having a hard time understanding what. I mean, I I I, I can do it. It was, it was about $3,600 in legal fees we wind up paying. And then on the select board's office, it's 18200 18, $18, I don't know what the select board's office does for 18 I don't know what they do for scams. And, and you can enlighten me if you're on the phone with them 25 times a day. But I don't, I don't, I'm looking for either information or it's a head scratcher. Yeah, I, I, I mean, they're, they're my select board office, so any time that I have an I know, issue but, above me, but, you know, it bounces and, off of them. But it's not 18 that? times well, a day, we, no. We started up, they did all the grant work, mm -hmm. that initial grant that we got. Absolutely. The grant, but but again, that was, that was four, five years ago now. Right. It, well, it's 2020, right. fiscal 21. But, Jonathan, I think you will find that 7% is reasonable. But n not if... I, I, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm happy to go back and ask the town of Waitley what they would charge to be the, okay. and, and if they come back lower. Then that's fine. You can take over everything. I, I don't, I, and, and maybe I'm wrong. And, and if I I'm know. wrong. I know. But you, you have to understand that you have to be realistic. I mean, look at the fur hogs overhead. 
Look at. I'm not over, going there. Well, I'm just saying this is. You're talking ten percent. The reason ten percent was was chosen last time was because that is the norm, and we are agreeing that the South County has been. Zach has been doing a wonderful job running South County, so we aren't having a lot of get, glitches. But that doesn't mean there's not conversations happening all the time, and there's not interactions with our people. Um, Brenda helps Zach. You know, I know there's conversations on on different stuff, right, Zach? I mean, okay. I mean, I I talk to him all the time. But that's your role as a select board member. You should not be charging for that. You're on, you're you're on the on the board of of. That means every time I call Zach, or I have a question. Well, I mean, that, that, I mean you are on the board I'm of oversight. Related. You should not be I'm charging out for for your time because you are on this board of oversight, Carolyn. Yes, but I'm I'm relating to trying to make sure that we run this as best as possible for the benefit of our three towns. Right, and and that's and, and I would argue that's why we pay Zach. I mean, I, Zach is doing a wonderful job. Right, and There's so no I don't, question. I don't understand. What the, I don't, I don't feel the need for Zach well, to be my can, Why don't you take this back, and right. you can, okay. and and we can. And have again, more I could be wrong, but I think it's due diligence that, that should take place. Uh, that's this. fine. I'm, I'm more than willing to discuss it, but I feel like we really did review it. I think it's reasonable, and we have a formula. When, when the, we started this, to go back in history, to your point, five years ago now. All right. Um, in it's speaking with all three town administrators at that time, mm -hmm. the discussion was had about if another town could do it for less, we welcome them to bring it forward, and mm -hmm. it could be it could be passed over. I believe the challenge at that time was the capacity to accept or take and over. And it was a startup. I yep. totally get it. There are startup costs, yeah. just like a business. Right. But again, I always understood it was going to be its own business, and I don't understand why Deerfield's running it. And that's well. We needed somebody to do all the administration behind it. Otherwise, we're looking at bringing someone on here to do all that administrative piece that needs to be done. I know we done. talked about that before. Nobody's ever looked into it. Maybe that's worthwhile. I don't know if for $60,000, if we could hire somebody administratively who could manage and handle the whole thing. Right, now would be all well, in, in All in, including legal and everything well, else. Well, I'm just, you're right, I'm saying benefits. Payroll, and benefits. I think it's I, still I, more than $60,000. I mean, Deerfield is making all the decisions for South County, the way I see it, you know. I mean, as, as far as, far as like personnel well, policy and things like everything. that. Yeah, as far as personnel, as far as, you know, if you want to buy a new ambulance, they have to be approved by Deerfield. It Everything. goes through all our stuff, right? And uh, goes through our capital why. committee. I mean, I was I was under the impression this was going to be its own entity when we started out, but it's not. <laughs> you know. I think we started part of the challenge of us creating its own entity was legislation to create its own separate tax district with its own governing and its own rules. The easiest way for us to set up was to fall mm -hmm. under one of the towns. And I think what we did was right. I mean, if you talk to, if, again, if you talk to Bernie <clears throat> up in Highland, <clears throat> he will argue that, that we did it right. <clears throat> and they and they did a good job, but we did it. He, he's envious of how we did it. So I'm not saying, I'm not, mm -hmm. this is great. And everybody in the three towns should be pleased that we fought the fight we did. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that we're <clears throat> growing up appropriately. Yeah. And, and uh, that's why I don't think anyone has a problem reviewing this as, but I, I think we really did sit down and look at the formula and say we, you know, the 7% is reasonable. The, so that 7% was come to because the way that the wastewater treatment plant in the South County Senior Center, those percentages are <coughs> determined is the percent, the, that agency's budget as a, as percent. compared to the overall town mm -hmm. budget, right? So. Um, the amounts here are 1.4 million to the town's 19 million dollar budget is 7.14 percent. So that's where that number 7.14 percent came from, mm -hmm. and is consistent across the other enterprise funds. So that that to me doesn't seem unreasonable for being consistent about how we're doing it. The percentage to, itself, I right, to, right, exactly. To John's point, though, <clears throat> like. The, these individual items and, and and exactly what what services are we getting from them and you know right. it 
am I taking up 7% of the town accountant's time as well as the town administrator's right. and time? And that's going to be different depending upon the office you're talking about. Right, right, right. right. So, right. I, so, right. I, I think the 7.14 is a welcome change, if I didn't Absolutely. say so myself. And I, and I thank the town for, for, for looking at it like that. I just, I, I want to come back and, and I'm happy to fall on my sword. I've done it thousands of times in this job. I think your point is duly noted. I'm not so sure that, you know, Gary's got an idea about running it quasi privately sort of thing. Is that right? I don't know if that's the right thing to do. You know, I think with the town absorbing it, whether that cost is right or not, I don't know. But the thing I don't is know, sometimes you'd be, a, you'd be I, recreating a lot of jobs that get done over there. You know, hire somebody to do all your accounting and payroll and Yeah, no, I agree with that. I, and you're right. There's a lot of work there. You turn it into a private organization and then all the laws change and Right. I got okay. a small business and my headaches are Oh exactly. Right. Um, you know. I'll, I'll go back and I'll, I'll I'll just and and again I'll come back to it and just say you guys were were right. This is you know or. <clears throat> I mean, I, I we don't want to. We're not trying to. I honest from my heart, I'm saying we're not trying to gouge you. I don't believe at you. All. Are. I agree. And 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 truthfully, <laughs> I get yelled at all the time for not charging enough. But I I feel like we need to have a fair formula, and I think we've come up with a fair formula and and that you know sometimes there are issues and they come up yeah. and then mm -hmm. and then there are no issues and and we just we've been very I mean Zach does a good job so yeah. there are less problems than there has been in in you know the startup years but I mean people I, I feel like there's a value for going through and I and, and maybe you don't agree Gary but going through Poor Zach has to go through all the finance committees, but he has to go through our capital improvement, you know, and it's really, you know, people do grill him. And I, I, I feel like that there is value in some of that stuff. Going to the personnel committee to, you know, make sure that you're hiring at, you know, at a higher grade so that you're competitive and he can have his choice is still a check and balance. But, and the, per but, the, but the personnel committee is a volunteer organization. But it's still supported by our select board office. It's still okay, supported but it's still a volunteer our... organization, as is Capital. And... Yeah, but all those things are supported through our office, I, I select think, men's office. Okay. You've well, got. I, I think there are two different conversations here. There's one conversation about the cost of it, and I think there's another one that is about the fact that if it was private, Zach, I guess, would be coming to us with personnel decisions. I'm not arguing that at all. That's I'm not arguing that at all. And we did study a lot of private models. <coughs> right. In the yeah, but, <coughs> area. but you can't you can't take that away from no. the direct, exp you know, costs, Jonathan, mm -hmm. or the, you know, maybe it is I'm, volunteer. I'm not arguing the still, indirect costs. I'm, it, I'm I'm arguing which of the line items are well, appropriate and which but are not. All those volunteer boards that harass Zach to make sure that he's running a good operation is is supported by our selectman's office you know and right, right and i guess and, and i guess my and i would say this if this were a, a waitley thing i will trust zach more than i'll trust the volunteer boards every day of the week uh, no one's disagreeing but right. still i just don't think the oversight's necessary that's my okay well, let me go back and we'll let's move on further Reports. Uh, that's it for my director's report, and that hit all the stuff in the budget that changed since the last draft. So, you got upcoming budget meetings. I think I'm already booked for. Is it Sunderland or Waitley? Waitley's scheduled. Waitley. Okay, then it must be Waitley, and I don't have a schedule. I don't have any dates yet for Sunderland or Deerfield, but um, can I? They will soon be upon you. But we still have one scheduled for February 20th, right here in oversight. Oh yes, uh, uh, yes. So the a boo meeting will be um, wherever I put that. February twentieth. February twentieth. Yep. And yep. so what I hope we hope to do, we we started a conversation, like I said, on the um, Warren article that will be on the annual town meeting. Yeah. So that's the the cap. There is the <coughs> money that we pay for rent, right, to make sure it doesn't end up just in, in cash. Bring cash. Speed on what that's going to look look like. Well. 
we were uh, we have to have a special town meeting and Diana put it on the warrant without I mean none of us knew that there was supposed to be a special town meeting so it was two articles so we I pulled them off I asked them to be pulled off so that we could do the research because you know m you know the me medical insurance field um, is changing constantly so I want to make sure that the money that we put into the rent payments if we need to expand to stay viable we can put on another bay or whatever you know it's just not maintenance right now it's written just for maintenance and i i i want to make sure it was always maintenance and capital yeah there's a question about but, how that yeah, warrant article that is written been... and what type of whether it's a revolving fund whether it's a stabilization fund what that means on the back end when when That's we want to spend legal, that money legal fees will come in so <clears throat> so the idea was we got the special coming up and I had said to Diana, hey, you know, remember, we need to make sure that we get this thing passed. And it was a little premature. So the plan is to whatever that language ends up being from legal, it's going to end up on the annual town meeting in April for Deerfield. So, so, so well, no, just that when we talked to Tom Scanlon or they did not really include any language on capital. And I was like that that's the whole point, because, you know, we want flexibility and, you know, or otherwise we should cut the rent payments at some point when we get enough money to like replace a roof or something. So anyway, the idea is to look at, you know, run it by our lawyers and try to find out what other models are out there. We have to go to the Department of Revenue to see how much we can do because otherwise we're going to have to have a separate, a separate capital account. And, and I, you know, I don't know how that works. I assume that we're going to escrow personally, but again, that's my. No, if it goes to a revol it's a revolving account, right? It was whether it was a stabilization or a revolving. Right. I think that's what it came down yeah. to. Yeah. And it's to ensure that it doesn't go into your general yeah. ops. Yeah. Right. Right. The yeah. money is already yeah. there, Jonathan. It's going to be, but I want a warrant article that will be on every year, that is just housekeeping. It just moves the money into that account every year. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And, and okay. we have to figure out a, a wording that is better than what what right. was the standard <clears throat> word, wording that the lawyer already sent. Right. And I think we all appreciate the work you put into that. Seriously. Well, it was a lot of back and forth. But. And the two different accounts, stabilization and capital, does it does one take like a two thirds vote to get the money out? Or right. One's stabilization. Only Fifty percent. Yeah. Fifty but percent it, vote. It, but that's not a concern because if we. If, if we want to stay viable, I mean, mm -hmm. there's not really going to be any discussion here. We, we pretty much know what we're going to do, or all agree on what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. to, and, we, you know, I mean, <coughs> would anticipate yeah. Zach would be here for quite a while, so. I'm just hoping that time comes and we need a new roof. If there's money sitting there, we're able to go in, take that money and get it right. out to do a roof. Not well, that somebody stands up at town meeting and says, when you wrote this article 20 years ago and I've got my copy, you didn't say you could do that with this yeah. money and, and then wind up. And that's the concern, especially if it's going to be a standing article for every right. town meeting in perpetuity. <coughs> it's just it should be capital, it should be maintenance, it should be the heavy lifting. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. It, should be, it should be as flexible as possible because we really don't know what the, you know, long term, <clears throat> yeah. whatever. And, right. and I asked. What, what every instance is going to be. I asked it, I think it was last meeting, that at the end of the year, into the fiscal year, yeah. we get some kind of report that says, okay, you've transferred $36,000 for rent. Yeah. It cost <coughs> $1,200 for electric, $500 for water, $300 for sewer, you know, $700 for bathroom cleaning supplies, whatever's coming out of that, so that we kind of have a running ledger of... Oh, Brenda has that. She and that's has, good. She this has, way, it's all clean and it's right. all clear, and we can go year to year and say, all right, at the end of the year, we paid $36,000, the town used $10,000 yeah. to Whatever maintain it. it there's 26,000 that's going to roll forward towards whatever right. and, 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 and those expenses will be strong for this I building. That, right. That Brenda is. The is, challenge right. becomes as that account builds up. <clears throat> and and I think we talked about that last meeting as well that we, we should always revisit it and say, okay, it's huge. It now need what what is going to happen to this? Right. And that's something we haven't. Right. No, done. but see. But we, we want to, the, it, no, this is we, why we were talking to the lawyers because, or g g putting this towards the lawyers is if we get, say we get enough to do a roof, you know, uh, say whatever, 200,000 yeah. to do a roof. And then, so we're in the two, three or 400,000. What if we want to transfer 
you know, 200,000 to a some kind of project or some kind of stabilization of and, and, a, and a, a new ambulance. Can we do that? Yeah. Well, see, my thought was, what if what if we had a lemon, and like we did, but we were instead of being just a year out. We I wonder were why out you pointed to Zach. Three. And said, I wonder well, if we had a lemon. because of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> but she was pointing we towards three, the bay, not I towards Zach. Yeah, well, if we were three three years <laughs> out. <laughs> Can we, instead of having this huge financial hit to all of our towns when we can have you, no money, can we just take a, you know, some, can we transfer 200000 of that towards a new ambulance? Right? Yeah. Do you guys know when you got this free building, if you got, you know, if they bought all the, the better, I mean, do you have 10, 10 year shingles or do you have 30 year shingles, you know? I'm just That's a good question. wondering about Good question, it. Gary. You know, <laughs> you know, if these guys are giving you a free building, the mm -hmm. they're giving you a free yeah. building, did they yeah. buy all the second rate? We should put solar on the roof, <laughs> then the shingles are going to last another 10 years you anyway. The building is the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I admire the straight face in which you said Thanks. that so cleanly. Mm -hmm. um, my, my last question about, about this, just again, I'm with Matt 100%. Um, I, I want to make sure that that the decisions of this board, and we're all going to be, none of us are going to be on this board in 15 years, I can't imagine, 10 years, whatever. Um, that the decision of this board will drive, will drive the, uh, do I have to? Uh, will drive the, the, the policy that's adopted by the town. It does, Jonathan. I got yelled at uh, 20 minutes the other night, right? Zach? Uh, I had my head down. So. I was, you know, I... I know, and I appreciate you. I, 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 you went comic, I, yeah. I don't know who yelled at you, and it's not my business to know, but... Doesn't matter. Was it I you? stuck up was for the, the boo, and I said, that we work together, and it's common courtesy that no matter what we're going to do, we're running it through here. So first, so uh, right, and and what we decide is really, yes. Unless it's an extraordinary situation, is what decisions made. Right, but by working together, we're coming up with the best solution, and there shouldn't be con 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 uh, any con on uh, controversy on it because we made a good decision. Right. So there's never going to be a hundred percent agreement. Doesn't matter as long as we have good decisions, and um, so. Whatever, that's where okay. we are now. My concern gets to be, as that account grows, there are some people in this town who look at big numbers sitting in an account. Sure. Oh my God, you gotta whack that, you gotta use that for operations. So like, hold on a minute. Within 15 years, we need to put another bay on this thing. And we'd really like to keep that money rolling so when it comes time to build that bay, instead of coming in asking for half a million dollars, we might have 300,000 in the account that we can use towards it and only have to borrow the balance. And that's why a, 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 a real long range capital strategic plan, plan and, and capital plan for the what ifs. I mean, yes. who would have thought, who would have thought 20 years ago that we'd be here? That yes. we'd be here, or who would have thought that the, the height of garage doors wouldn't, that were built 30 years ago wouldn't be high enough for certain vehicles, yeah. and now you've got to raise the roof or get a new building. Yeah. Because they don't make that vehicle anymore to it fit the short to, to yeah, fit I mean, the Drive. Ask the South yeah. Fire District about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And ask yeah. the weight lead. Yeah. yeah, we went through the same thing too. Yeah. Right. So we just that's why it's a long range, yeah. really long range, not like a five year thing. But no, I, I understand. But I, I, to your point, Matt, the town over the last few years has been very diligent of getting their heads out of their butts and starting to format itself more like the district here and having enterprise funds such as this for the sewer district and stuff, where there is going to be a larger amount of money that's going to be there that we're not going to touch. Well, and my fear has been in the past there has been leadership in this town that has looked at that, ran, gotten into office, and then got and raided those funds and pulled it out to lower the tax rate. So I just want to make sure there's a good thing, because I heard it before this building got built. We talked about put money away and letting money accumulate so when time came to build a building, we'd have money to do it. Mm -hmm. And there were people out there saying, you've got all this money and you're building a big war chest and you guys are out there spending willy-nilly. No, mm -hmm. we were being diligent, we were watching every penny, we were scrutinizing every dollar on a budget 
so we could save the money so when we had to build, we'd have the money to do it. Thankfully, we didn't have to pay for the building, but there were still things that we had to pay for <clears throat> inside the building mm -hmm. and things that we needed to do to get up and running, and it's allowed us to keep costs very reasonable for the type of service that's being provided. Absolutely. So I just want to make sure we can continue that on and there's enough foresight and enough information out there that we're not building a war chest for the sake of building a war chest. There's a war chest with a plan for the future so we can keep this thing at a consistent Well, I think what we have rate. to do is think about true capital needs. Yeah. Um, we have we know we have we have a plan for the ambulance, but yeah. that is truly at this moment the only capital item. Well, I've got things in my head I'm thinking about 5, 10, you know, whatever, 15. So. We, we should put it down on paper and we can, you know, sit down with Kevin or something and, yeah. and try to come up with roof replacement. And it, it's that type of stuff. I mean, I have a capital plan going out 15 years for our monitors and our vehicles mm -hmm. and, and things like that. But yeah, it's, it's the building stuff that I don't have any experience with. Is there an organization out there and you guys would know, no offense, better than you and I would know. Is there an organization out there that can forecast what services like ours are going to look like in 25 years? What their, what their capital needs are going to be? Or, or, is it, or do they only look, you know, five years out? I, mean, I gotta believe... So those women with the long hair and the crystal ball? Well, you know, <laughs> uh, the equivalent, but more scientific. Yeah, with data. I mean... There are different... There are risk management consultants, but I, I think we are better to profile our own service and and base it on our own best guesses. Yeah, some people yeah, well, know I agree. You know, back when I first started on the emergency service, we had a pregnant roller skate that didn't cost us hardly anything. That was horse and carriage days. Right. Yeah. Almost. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's just you know, if anybody told me at that time that we'd have an ambulance like we have sitting out here right now, that was bigger than any heavy rescue. That was bigger than M8 in Greenfield mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we I have think, right now, I, I just as an ambulance. Yeah, when There's it comes somebody to, out there that knows When it comes this. to EMS, and like pre-hospital medicine, I think five years, you can pretty adequately be like, okay, not, I'm not pumps, ultrasound, but beyond that, like, I mm -hmm. think you start getting into the... But, but that Medical said, stuff is yeah. so if you consistently say like, oh, every three to five years, there's going to be some new initiative and it's probably going to cost us, you know, 15,000 bucks, you know, from start to finish. And if you make a plan for, yeah. you know, the advancements in technology right. that. Just look at the stuff that you did when you started EMS that you can do now. There's oh, like, yeah, right. Yeah. It's like right. Well, even miracle. go back and look at your town. I mean, go back 10 years ago. And look at how many houses you had versus how many you've got now and the new developments that have gone right. in. And some of them's a great example of the way they kind of, I mean, you're getting, yeah. what, another? 150 units. So. Though those forecasts aren't always accurate either. I mean, oh, yeah. there were, I saw something, that I forget what the source was, that was projecting all three of our towns would be five times the size they are currently. Oh, yeah, and just. That's yeah. why we built the size of the schools. Right, we but if we but if we do start to see a large influx yeah. of people moving in, which should, I think would be a, a welcome thing, personally, we should pull we that should study out that we uh, started with when we were thinking about joining it together and see if any of his projections came true. Came true. Yeah, that guy that we hired, Bruce Baxter. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he was all that far off. Right? He wasn't. At least from like the personnel and the admin and the operational yeah. stuff. Number of calls, that kind of thing. Yeah, and I think he was even, he was a little uh, conservative. Yeah. But if you read between the lines. And I got to tell you, I laugh every year when I look at the numbers and I go through and do the percentages of use based on each town. Yeah. And how close it is to how we modeled this thing. Yeah. Uh, we did a great job. So, and we should just keep doing it. <clears throat> just because it works doesn't mean that it all, you know. Right. 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 It needs to be looked at. It needs to be examined. If something shifts majorly, you need to have those discussions. And that'll be the but defense for people who say you're storing all this money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Any other the, new business? This number that's here that they've come up or adjusted to has the has the town staff met with finance to explain to finance how they arrived at this so Zach doesn't get skewered about 
that should probably happen. That should not be a fight you take on. That no. should be a fight the town administration takes on with the finance committee. Yeah, we're paying what we've been asked to pay. They figured it out. Let them get in a room and hash it out because. Well, there shouldn't be any problem because our budget went down. Right. But you'd get the other half of the argument, which is, <coughs> why are they paying less? They should be paying more. Well, blah, blah, blah. I guess what my question is, though, this number here, this most updated number, are we okay with me plugging that in with and, and giving this updated budget to all three towns for continuing? Because I think that's what we know. I think absolutely. it'd be unlikely for it to go back that, up. If, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're very comfortable with that. Okay. And any changes down the road would, would be next fiscal year. Yeah. Well, and you've noticed that I've planned out a whole year's worth of boo meetings and these off-season stuff like that and the IMA will all be ripe for discussion when we're not scrambling to get a budget yep. passed. We did talk about putting in a line item for, I'm going to say, employee recognition. Mm, yes, last thing. And we, and we didn't. And yes, right, 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 right. So yep. if we can and I have dropped the ball on that to, to plan it. That's okay. We've got time to plan. I just want to make sure we have a budget number. Budget for it. Right. I don't want to put a budget number in that's. Right. Yeah. Well, are we getting rid of the legal line item for 150 bucks or something? Uh, 1500 1500 I thought we were. Yeah. Do no, we want I, to I, get rid of zero out legal and then add 1500 bucks for. Yeah, because what we do is not going to cost. Yeah. Yeah. Or I, you, you might have more. I, I, I haven't thought about it enough, to, and, I, and I don't want to be the guy who Sorry. pulls a number out yeah. just because it sounds like a good number. Yeah. Okay. How, so many total, I'll just, how many total staff members have you got? Nine full time, including myself, and then another 26 or seven so of 30 the DMs. People. Yeah, low 30s. Um, you know what? And, and what we're thinking instead is of, that, um, of instead event. of dropping, yeah. instead of eliminating Rather than the, the boy. legal mm -hmm. line, yeah, fifteen yeah, something the How about just right. reducing it to two fifty? Yeah. Recognition dinner, you know, like an hour. Well, and, and then it's also fifty for the yeah. Okay, uh, two fifty is an hour. Visibility of all the great things we've or, done. No, it's like in this service hour, over the last five. Yeah, here's like where, five. where we've come. So in case in case there's a person because there are people out there who still don't item outside of. Yeah. You still have a line item, and and what and you can transfer some money in between at the end of the year. So if you have a shortfall, mm -hmm. okay. I don't want to eliminate the legal line, so we're saying go down to two fifty. Does that make sense? Go down to two fifty from fifteen. From fifteen hundred. Well, the two the two fifty is going to give you an hour. I I just said that. It's, oh, not, okay. it's not quite an hour. It, but hey, really, your council bills out more than two fifty an hour. We're not. Oh. Well, no, that's why they have a flat but, fee. But, no, 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 no. We, exactly. If you're outside the flat fee. Gotcha. No, no, no. If you're outside the flat fee, in case there's an outside of the flat fee kind of, you know, personnel issue, and we have run into something over the course of the year, then what we'll have to do is, you know, then you can transfer money at the end of the year. We have the 5%. So I, this, this employee okay. recognition thing, I'm going to find all the bolded line items reference specific accounts back at the town hall so i'll find i'll find an existing one and, and put oh, it in as a, do you have a, a it, marketing events advertising um yeah any of those would fit because it's more than just employees exactly it is, yeah it's again matt and i were just having a sidebar this is about reminding the three towns how far we've come and what a good thing that we've got going and um professional this is a, recognition this is a model Mm -hmm. And that Zach and his team are the are the reasons this model works so well. Yeah. Well, and, and I also think if we have you know um, employees that do the have you know save save somebody and they are, get the save awards, I think we have to have some way to. Do this. That's a whole separate rec thing. But recognize yeah. them right. yeah. for that. Right. I mean that's huge. Mm -hmm. I mean we ha didn't we have three in one year? I mean yeah, honestly, we recognized we them just, at Deerfield Town Meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we can do, we just had at the, at the, uh, Franklin? No, cool. well, the Deerfield Fire Christmas Party. We recognized the old Deerfield Fire, the police officers in the South County EMS for a call that occurred in, in their district. That's why we did it up right. at their, their <laughs> annual event. But, I mean, we've yeah. had other ones that, I mean, I think we've had two or three at a time. I mean, it's been pretty Oh, amazing. we're just, yeah. We're racking them up. Yeah, no, it, it's really amazing. But people, people tend to forget. So I right. think it's a way... We need to have some 
something somewhere. I mean, there's an awful lot of blank walls here. You could put something. There's already a hook waiting what, behind you. Let's you and I <laughs> find a time and give, and give me a couple options. Okay. Where I'll come by. Days, nights. What's your, I don't even know what you're on. I, I don't even know. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair answer. <laughs> I, I literally don't even know. Okay. I mean, I, yeah, I'm more of a tweet by you. Me. Roger that. Okay. <laughs> Will you yeah. tweet him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. You'll know exactly where I am. Like us on Yelp. <laughs> Let's see. You married to a redhead too? <laughs> I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Oh wait, I can't vote. Sorry. Second. Gary, get us. All in favor? Aye. Aye.